to the Toy Thug Show. You are listening to the Toy Thug Show. Your boy Braun. I have my co host with me, KP. Yes, sir. Ray Miles. Yeah. This is episode four. Check us out at toythug.com, Instagram Toy Thug, Facebook Toy Thug. Toy Thug brand on Snapchat. Yes, and Toy Thug underscore Toy underscore Thug on Twitter. It's mainly Instagram. That's our choice of platform and Facebook. Yes, sir. So, what's going on, guys? Uh, not a whole lot. Just living. Just living, right? We got a lot of pickups today. Yeah. Yeah, we have Gray a Miles lot, quite came, a lot. Gray Miles did a lot came, of uh, yeah. stuff over the weekend, I think, right? I oh, yes. You were a busy dude. Game of yeah. Thrones concert How on was that? last Friday. It, it was amazing. Man. I will say not all the music is uh, iconic, but yeah. at least they have the scenes playing on the screen. So it, right. it was, it it was made a it cool more... experience. I mean, if you're a Game of Thrones fan and it's coming to your city, I would recommend checking Man. it out. Man. Yeah, I missed it. I hope they come back. <laughs> Tell the people uh, for the for those that don't know what exactly it was like a, a concert. It's right? a it's a concert where the composer was there, and uh, they had a a live symphony, live singers, and they would play various scenes from the show with the corresponding music in the background, and that's pretty much it. That's Lasted dope. about yeah. two hours. Okay, like you know, obviously when they did the opening theme, people went crunk for that. Yeah. And like the, they did the very last part of season six where the Daenerys got the ships all together. Oh, that is the that, yeah. That was shoot. really that's how they ended it. That was pretty cool. Oh man, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Like I said, if it's coming to your town, I would definitely check it out. Uh, it's not selling out. It didn't sell out in Houston. They actually yeah. upgraded my seat because it didn't sell oh, out. Oh, that's but, dope. Yeah. How can you find out of those things? Because I didn't hear about it until you mentioned it. Uh, just get on a uh, Ticketmaster and look up Game of Thrones. It'll, okay. it'll come up. So, okay. is it like uh, a tour they're doing? Like, around? yeah, the, I think it's halfway done. I think they're doing the West Coast now. So, if you live out in California, places like that, check it out because I'm pretty sure it's coming your way pretty soon. But yeah, dope, dope, dope. If, you're, if you're a fan, definitely check it out. Nice, okay. nice. All right. So, in the toy news, thing that stood out uh, for me yesterday was there was a reveal. I think I missed it. It was on Sideshow Collectibles um, Facebook. They did a live. They uh, revealed Thanos. Have you guys seen that? That's the premium format, right? Where yes. he's sitting on the throne. Yes, he's got that the, is the, so detailed. He's got the gauntlet on. It. KP, I don't know if you can, um, if you want to see it for yourself. Sideshow Thanos, huh? Yeah. Yeah, premium format. Great Miles, did you see it? Uh, I got the email this afternoon. Okay. Uh, so I'm on their uh, mailing list or whatever. So okay. Yeah, I saw it. Man, how much is that going for? Their premium formats are no joke. I mean, it's pretty expensive. So is I it like 500 <laughs> Probably, I mean, it, it's so detailed and it's so big. I want it, dude. But they, <laughs> they have dude, uh, when I saw it. Oh my, like oh, they have man. installment plans. So it's it, one, really, how much is this thing? No, nah, that's um, that's not it. Yeah, that's not it. I don't know if you can uh, sort it by date. Man, that's so boss. I think it lights up. I think the the Infinity Stones lights up. Really? Oh, really? I I, I think would. So. Yeah, that wouldn't shock me. I mean, it is pretty detailed. But but they like had like a behind the scenes, a couple minutes of like you know what work they put in um into that figure and i was just like wow it's it's like all handcrafted it's like it didn't look like it was mass produced at all so it's none of these right no nah, he was just um well I'll, I'll pull it up we'll, we'll we'll put it up on our blog on the blog i'll okay. show you the um the the video but it's it's epic I what about like, that that facebook um thing you tagged me in or uh our boy yeah, our tagged boy, us in yes yeah, yeah that's what was the that theme. It, it was a cosplay. Was that, oh, okay, okay. That cosplay yeah. was like the sickest cosplay. Right. We, we, ever. we should post that. Oh, yeah, we'll post that too. That, yeah. The y'all, Thanos. Yeah, yeah, the Thanos when he's walking he's through. Walking. It, like he had the whole movements and everything. Right. I was like, man. I was like, is this part of the movie? Is this, um, <laughs> you know, I was just thinking if it, it was like um, the the set of, of the actual costume yeah. of the movie. What if you're it, like, they're what, filming it. What if you were like walking out your house and then you just see that thing just yeah. walking down the street, <laughs> walking like that? <laughs> Yeah, I was yeah. look. I was thinking like, where where's his head? Where's the dude that's you know controlling? Yeah, like cause he's like about seven feet tall, and he's like, man, he he's like triple extra large, way bigger than a, a lineman of, of you know football. Yeah, it's cr- it's crazy. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, so these cosplayers, man, they like I think last year they're getting um, better. Yeah, there was one of the Hulk Buster. I don't know if you saw that. I saw that. Yeah, I was just like, wow. This- this amazing man this yeah they got skills man out there props to the cosplayers man they keep getting better and better and 3d printers help too i think 
Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Just 3D print. Are we going to get a cosplayer on the show one day? We should. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because I want, I want to see how they do all that shit. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. Right? Okay, yeah. I know there's there's a couple that we can hit up. So, yeah, definitely. That's, that's Hey, let us know uh, what cosplayer y'all want us to, to try to get on the show. Preferably yeah. a hot <laughs> one. <laughs> and local. <laughs> local. Yeah. Or, or, well, it's like they can do like a Skype uh, interview or something. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So four four horsemen, Eric's is a figure line, man. Yeah, that's my favorite shit right there. So I, I, there was a like an email that was sent out. There there was news on it. I don't know if you got it. Like about you get to pick the next upcoming line. That's what I got it. Oh from. yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about that. I yeah. saw it on Instagram. I didn't. Yeah. I don't, not on their email list, but I saw oh, it. Not, okay. Yeah, I want to get on the next Kickstarter. On. For I mean, that, they, they keep coming out with like crazy looking one every time i see something that's crazier and crazier yeah there was one it, it looks like a i don't know like a gargoyle is like yeah um, there's like a dwarf king now yeah like a warrior female warrior type chick yeah yeah that's dope yeah we, we need to check that and out. they come with like alternate heads and all that stuff do they yeah okay yeah. kind of like what like um like helmet head and then like regular no helmet and stuff okay, like okay do they always use kickstarter as their you know platform to launch like the new stuff Mythic Legions for sure. Yeah. Mythic Legions, really. It's kind of a smart model, right? Yeah, definitely. Because they can gauge. They can gauge on how many people system. want it and, yeah, yeah. and right. how much to produce. Yeah. You know, and they pr- just like overproduce a little bit more. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they, they make they make enough run for like the online stores. Yeah. But like it's mostly Kickstarters. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So you got an idea and you think it, you know, you think it's hot. You just put it on Kickstarter. Kickstarter, yeah. Have a good what promo campaign. Yeah, definitely. Presentation's key. Yeah, for sure. You know, so. Yeah, that's pretty dope. I respect that. Like, you know, they put their artwork out there and you, they let the people decide. You yeah, know what I mean? That's, that's how it sick. should be done, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So was this uh, this fourth, 40th anniversary Black Series spotted? It's already showing up? Uh, In the UK at True, Toys R Us. Oh, man. I saw it on Instagram. So if it's, gonna, it's, if it's there, it's going to be here at relatively soon yeah which one is it is it the one that they showed um yeah the ones the on the pegs that he showed was han solo r2 and leia oh, okay yeah. so they're they're hitting they're hitting already overseas so like i said that should mean in the states relatively soon how big is the package you think do you think it's gonna be big as like the marvel legends it look bigger than that it's bigger than that yeah, right yeah, yeah. man uh, I, uh yeah i gotta get my hand i want to collect the whole set Oh, for the sure. The whole wave, right? For because sure. It, how that's many, how many, that's, how that's many happening. Figures. I want to say five, right? And the first Luke. wave, there's five. It's Luke, first wave. Luke Leia, Han, R2, and Obi-Wan. Yeah. Oh, man, you got to get those. Those are like all the key. Yes. <laughs> key. <laughs> key characters. That's the new hope right there. Yeah. The new hope people. Yeah. Yeah. Speak. Um, Obi-Wan's going to be in there? or? Yeah, it's Obi-Wan. Okay. Um, my friend showed me. I haven't been keeping up with the Rebels. Have you guys been watching that? Yeah. Yeah. He, okay. We were I was talking that. about that earlier, actually. I heard, man, like the last episode or last. Darth Maul versus yeah. Obi Wan. Man, that was awesome. Man, really? That was See, yeah, that just sounds crunk right there. Was, like, yeah. I want to, like, watch that. Yeah. Like, just because, you know, Obi Wan and Darth Maul, it's like. The, yeah, the rematch. See, yeah. I am so yeah. The rematch, man. <laughs> so now so, I gotta watch it from the beginning. Exactly. Yeah, pretty pretty much. <laughs> man, I, I heard like I ain't got time. This yeah. is because that's already season three, right? This one was uh, season it's three. Pretty far or, along, yeah. Okay. because uh, I heard last season like it was a crazy. I mean, last year Darth they all Vader. they almost did Darth Maul versus Darth Vader. Almost did it, but they they ah. Oh, but uh, that Maul, crazy. Maul got hurt and he had to go away or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, they're gonna do it, but. No. Yeah, I can't wait. I got man. I, I need to watch that man. There's so much. How many shows seasons out there. Um, are are they in? Uh, for, for Rebels, uh, for I, I, Rebels. I, I, I want to say three. This is the third three, one. Three, third, three, three or four or something okay. like that. Yeah, I mean, you could catch up in a weekend. In a weekend, ha- okay. half hour show. You know. What I mean? Yeah, it's. I mean, the like I saw a clip of it, and I mean the Obi Wan looks sounds just like the o- original Obi Wan. Yeah, it sounds like it, really. Man. Yeah, yeah. The man. voice actor did a lot of good work to get the cadence right. And all yeah. That. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I need to. I have to show you the clip. Uh, yeah, my my boy Ernesto, like, uh, he sent it to me. He keeps sending me like uh, spoiler stuff, like when the <laughs> when before the Force Awakens came, like he texted me, um, like the history of uh of the Ren, but that was I think that oh, was Knights more of Ren. Yeah, but I I don't think that was like official. But and then he sent me um the Rogue One scene, with Darth Vader. Um, uh, he sent me a, a, a video it? clip. Yeah, um, yeah, but. Thank God I didn't play it. <laughs> you knew you know? already. 
I was like, is yeah, he like, like trying to be an asshole or is no? He... <laughs> I think he wants to share it. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. wants to share it, but I'm like, dude, like, no, don't. He, does he know that you don't want to see see it till you? Yeah, actually I told him it? like oh, a bunch of times, so he's but being... he's not listening. I don't know if he's being an ass or he's just not hearing it. Nesto, but, if you're watching, yeah, <laughs> or listening, man, listening. Yeah, stop sending stop me that. spoilers, dude. <laughs> so I want to enjoy it. Spoiler alert! You gotta, yeah. have, you gotta put that in big, bold, uh, capital, yeah. all, all the te- text yeah, messages, should, <laughs> right? all the letters and text messages, and mad emojis, <laughs> for real, man. So, what is this uh, shipper at Target uh, latest Black series? Uh, shipper is basically like every walked in and like you see like a display oh. in the aisle. Yeah, yeah, that's a shipper. Okay, and like. I think it's supposed to be for Rogue One, but I saw them out early at certain targets. It's like a big black cardboard. Uh, is thing. this for the DVDs or I think the so, Blu-rays? Yeah. Well, because oh, it comes out okay. in a couple of weeks, so man, okay. And they have like toys on the on the thing, and yeah, I spotted uh, the new black series on there. Oh, uh, is it a new wave? Like yeah, a... the the two Asian guys. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, they're... They're, they're the only ones in the wave, but it's the two Asian guys, right? And like, there's a four pack. Of the little ones with a uh, Saw Guerrera, okay, uh, one of the troopers, the, the three and quarter inch yeah, figures, yeah, yeah. okay, okay, one of the alien guys, and I think Jin or so, I think. Now, KP, are you going to be getting the the DVD, the uh, or the Blu-ray of, of like of uh, school, the, Rogue One? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, I might get it the streamed, the streamed version, the streamed version. Yeah. Like, the, now, um, our friend Ron, he said. In his opinion, that the Best Buy exclusive is going to be the best one. Yeah, I pre-ordered, I pre-ordered it already. Oh, but which one from uh, Best Buy yeah, or the, the Steelbook? Okay, I guess Steelbook <laughs> everything. The DVD yeah. is an exclusive uh, through yeah. Best Buy. Uh, I believe so. What's, this... what's the do you know the difference between each stores? I know like Walmart. Uh, um, I know that the Target one has Target. like it's like a book part of the packaging, and I know Best Buy is a Steelbook. Like that's my shit. Yeah, I get Steelbook everything. Like that's the only thing I buy. From blu-ray now right but i like steel books are i think they're pretty cool it's and, and it's dope if, because if you have con- if you keep it consistent right yeah like, like oh check out my steel book hell yeah collection. i got a good steel book collection dude <laughs> for how many you think? shit at, le- at least 20, <laughs> 20 25 20 25 like man <laughs> yeah just like like i'll even buy like movies i don't really care for if it's a steel book like i bought moana i don't care about that but it's a steel book <laughs> so i got it Right now, uh, I know a picture of that. I want to see that. Oh, <laughs> no, you bring, know what? Bring it all I'm going to check out because um, and they go for a decent amount on eBay. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to try because uh, last time I got uh, the Force Awakens at the Disney store because they always release like lithographs. Oh yeah, yeah. So that that's what I've been. Um, I guess that's probably my consistent. So I'm gonna have to do that. Go back to Disney, and sometimes they they release uh, certain figures like they had um, the prototype Boba Fett one time. Is that like um, the uh, during the release of the Force Awakens? W- what line is that? It's uh, it's uh Mattel, uh, right? Disney Elite. Yeah, Disney it's like Elite, Disney. Yeah. I have like a couple of those in, in Noah's closet, actually. Really? <laughs> yeah. What the the lithographs or the or the the, the, the figures? figures? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What? Wow. Which one is he? <laughs> I think he has Boba Fett. <laughs> Dang. The Grievous is, that... is worth a little bit of money. I got the Grievous too. I think we sold it at, at the show. Really? Uh, yeah. Okay. It looks year. pretty cool yeah. in the package. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, that's why I picked him. I said, man, I'm not a fan, but like, man, he looks really dope. I heard it doesn't stand up like when you take it out. Oh, really? I heard, I heard if you have it, leave it in there. Leave it in there. That's what I heard. Lean up against a wall or something. Yeah. So, all right. So, a lot of, um, a few people has been asking us, um, aspiring toy photographers, how to get their rep up. What, what do you guys think the best way to, to get? You know, if you're if you're if you want to get more likes and more followers on Instagram, hashtag get featured. Yeah, that's probably the biggest way. Exactly. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. You can, networking. Yeah, networking. that's the biggest. That's the biggest thing to me. Get man. with other guys that you know yeah, are already like, big. Uh, yeah, already talk in to there. Them. Talk yeah. to them. Like so, the yeah. more the more chances you 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 hit up somebody, especially with nowadays with with social media, like you could hit up anybody. There's always a chance that they'll they'll see it and hit you up and like hit you back you know what i mean and like if you keep shooting the ball you, you you'll hit one you'll hit one you definitely. know what i'm saying so like <laughs> you keep networking yeah that's the best way i yeah. mean that's how we've been able to grow like a bunch of different businesses right so yeah man no, that's good. networking is the best there's a um best thing to use for i'm trying to pull media. up um i have a bookmark actually there's this website where it gives you it's like a hashtag generator Okay. Or you, you type in, like, say, Marvel Legends. Yeah. And that website will kind of, like, generate um, other 
hashtags that's related to that's it. related to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah sometimes it's kind of um off off but for the most part i guess like with the with the figures it's um it's kind of on point yeah definitely but like one time i i, I ran like say like 49ers it, it showed like lyft for free uber <laughs> Yeah. Like, what is this? Like, <laughs> Niner Empire and then Uber and Lyft. Yeah. <laughs> like, what is that? Um, man, I'm trying to find uh, what link that is. But is that pretty much it? Like, what else? Um, do you, you guys have and, any other? And giving value to the person you're hitting up somehow. Right. Yeah, shout, shout outs always work. Uh, yeah. You got to come correct. I mean, if you're, yeah, not, you if you're have... not dope, people aren't going to follow That's you. That's true. You have yeah. to come up with the good shit if you don't. Don't even bother. Right. I mean, especially now, there's so many good ones. And you got to be unique because there are so many. You have to be Yeah, unique. they're starting to be like the same But that's shots what's, and that's over what's and over cool, again. though. It's like it's going to force people to be more creative to stand out. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think, um, yeah, it's going to be lately, cool. Lately, I've just been seeing some crazy photography. Oh, like, like that one you showed me with the, the whole setup with the, the lit lightsabers? Yeah. Oh, that was dope, man. With yeah. all the different yeah, that was Who crazy. did that? Um, I need to look it up. Oh, man, that was so sick. We're going <laughs> to we're gonna post it on the website, too. Yeah. So, give give that guy some love because, man, that was pretty. You know, having the figures and, and, and positioning it is one thing, but like, how did he get the lightsabers, like, lit up like and these are like the black series custom yeah, cuz yeah right that had, had to be like you know um little batteries in there to light up the yeah that was LEDs. pretty sick man. and then like the edited photos he did yeah after that man i would i would pick up a shirt like that oh yeah that'd be man, man. yeah that would be dope hey uh whoever that is hit us up <laughs> <laughs> but Work uh, something out <laughs> yeah before for, uh forget is um for the hashtag generator there is a website called displaypurposes.com yeah okay and we're gonna put that on the website yeah so check that out but all right man um gray miles are you a subscriber yet for netflix or not not yet you're still nope. sitting on the fence i'm still okay. holding out to see if iron fist sucks or not okay so i guess he's waiting for us to, <laughs> to get past uh, I mean, episode right. two i uh i, <laughs> I follow <laughs> ign pretty much yes me too sucks, so that's what they're saying if they say it yeah. sucks then it probably sucks so there, there's a couple of people that i kind of listen they're like influencers um he said uh, th- this. I, for, I don't know his um, vicious six nine six or something that on on Instagram. He said that it's it's not terrible, but it's not great either. But yeah. he, he saw the whole thing. Yeah, um, I've heard that a few times. Yeah, yeah, it's so there's still hope for it. Yeah, it's it's not like it's a total tank. I heard I heard it was rushed to get defenders out. Oh, okay, maybe. Um, That's the one complaint I've heard a lot. It's right. It just felt rushed. Yeah. What does IG think? Yeah, have you seen it yes. yet? And what do you think IG about it? Live people. Do you like it or was it terrible? Yeah, what do y'all think? Let us know. IG, what do you do you like Iron Fist or did you think it was Boo Boo? Boo Boo. My wife, she enjoyed it. I mean, she didn't even know about the hype and Oh really? Yeah. I mean she goes, Oh, that's a pretty good show. But yeah, because it, it's 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 starting out like a drama. You know what I mean? Like right. the family, like people dead. It's like a yeah. big soap opera. So she yeah, she doesn't know nothing about this. Um, like, well, what are you watching? Oh, this is a show called Iron Fist. Yeah, and um, yeah, she doesn't know it's like a Marvel. Oh yeah, like, series. But so. she's into it. Yeah, she goes, wow, that's pretty good. That's, yeah, let's let's binge watch it one weekend. <laughs> and they're saying it's like the second biggest um, Marvel Netflix to date. M- so G- meaning streams or like I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Meg seventy eight says she likes it, or he, or. Whoever that is, <laughs> <laughs> whoever you are, M-E-G. unisex. Uh, <laughs> we hear you. Did did, I, did he or she uh, complete the whole season? Did y'all complete the whole season, Emmy? Yeah, I like. I like the you know the, I like the setup of the the first episode because I only saw the first episode. Yeah, I, lie. I like um like I think Marvel is with with the Marvel Netflix. They're kind of like doing like a hip hop theme. Yeah, that's what I like too. Because I like the you saw the him soundtrack. like walking. He was bumping um. He was, uh, uh, so fresh and so clean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Outcast. Outcast. Yeah. I have heard that it's kind of like a hip hop show. Yeah. Yeah. Luke it. Cage. You need to watch Luke Cage. Um, you know, they're playing a lot of hip hop. They're saying each title of each episode from Luke Cage was like a title to like Gangstar's uh old song. album. Yeah. yeah. Rest in peace, Gangstar. Uh, Guru. Guru. Of yeah. Gangstar. Did you premiere? I think he's still alive. Yeah, yeah. yeah I believe so. I that's believe my, so. you know what that moment of truth that uh, guru moment of truth is my favorite yeah. song of all. Time. Oh, that's a good song. That's my favorite hip hop song of all time. We need to post that on. <laughs> yeah, if y'all haven't heard that, any hip hop fans out there, the, guru the moment young, of truth. The that's, youngsters. That, yeah, that's that's some real real stuff right there, man. Yeah, it's like meaningful and you know it just makes you think about life. Right, right. Now turn up, turn, turn up. up. <laughs> now, KP, did you watch Dave Chappelle yet? 
I did. I watched the first. The whole uh, thing? The, there's yeah, I two. The one. Okay. I, watched, I watched the first one. I haven't seen the second one yet, and it was funny. Yeah, it was. Really? Yeah, it was really good. Um, you know, I like his storytelling is just greatest of all time, man. Like, yeah. the way he sets it up, sets up the joke, and like, you know, and then, um, and he drops knowledge, too. Like, I know. Like, during yeah. his uh, thing, he's, some of the subject matter is, like, ridiculously inappropriate. Right. But, like, he, he does it in a way where you can't hate him for it. You know what I mean? I heard there was one joke uh, about, like, Jay-Z money. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that then... was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to... I don't want to... You don't want to spoil it? Yeah, okay. I don't want to spoil it. I want to... I definitely you know, need to joke. check it out. But, yeah, that was... That was I had to rewind that one again because that was funny. It was funny. <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, I, I rewound it again. You'd ask Alex. I was like, listen to this. This is funny. <laughs> <laughs> I heard, like, uh, it, it was taped from like an LA show like a couple of years back yeah. like 15, um 2015 or something yeah and i heard it was last year was it last year yeah. okay and they, they taped one in here in in the state like at uh, ACL fest i think oh really okay that's the second one i heard like he, people that attended um his show like they they had to put their phones in the spot. i can confirm this cuz i was at the show last night Last night you was at the show last night. <laughs> yeah, oh no? shoot! I, well, no, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah I hit I've been mad busy. Oh, okay, okay. I've been mad busy. Uh, they they take your phone and they put it in a uh, magnetically sealed pouch. I am what? not. I am not joking. <laughs> For the entire show, and it unlocks like after 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 the show, the show. you take it to the little booth. They unlock it and give it back to you. No shit, that's crazy. Oh wow! Yeah, they are not joking around. He does not want his shit to be yeah shared or whatever. Right. So because it ruins the joke. You know what yeah, I mean? I know. If people yeah. like, you know, are, are posting know. it yeah, online yeah, they know and like, you, go, yeah. you know, it ruins the, you know, the effect of the joke. You know what I mean? I see yeah, why. that's true. I, I and see, I will I say understand. like Chappelle at this point, like just Chappelle is funny. Like his delivery, his voice. As soon as he came on stage, people just started laughing. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So he started talking. Yeah. Just the way he walks is just <laughs> like his whole delivery is like, man, and you guys. Like, like KP was saying, it's very topical. Yeah, he talked about Trump. Obviously, he talked about yeah. the transgender stuff. Yeah, and he he just drops the truth, man. Like yeah. he has a very unique way to look at life. Yeah, uh-huh. and it's 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 just cool to hear him talk about it because I think now he understands like who he is, right? Like, that he he does hold sway over people, and he he's taking advantage of that. And I think that's pretty cool. Wow, yeah, but it's that's... a good show. I've, again, like Game of Thrones, if he's coming your way, check it out because it's yeah. definitely worth it. Man, I got to watch him man. again. I hope he I hope, hope he comes back around again, man, because I got to catch him the next time. Right, he's right. actually here right now. Yeah, he's he, here he, as we and, speak right now. And uh, how long is he here? This is his last night. Today or? was the second show. Yeah, he had two okay. last night, one tonight, which I think ended about an hour ago or something like that. And it was at the Improv. No, I was at the Revenge and Music Center downtown. Okay, by the Hard Rock. Oh, it was the old Verizon Theater? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Wow, that's dope. It's kind of a small place, but it's pretty cool. I've been to a few things there. It's a yeah. nice atmosphere because it's kind of small. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, so the get down for those who have you know, seen the show. Love um, the show. It's going to continue, I guess, with five more episodes for season one. What is the get down? I have not seen it. The get down. You want to explain that, KP? It's basically like a, a exaggerated version of hip-hop history um mm-hmm. told in musical format <laughs> right yes <laughs> so right. like uh there's like a couple characters what's the main the main character's name um uh, man i already shit. forgot well uh, he's called the uh, wordsmith yeah that's like his um his hip hop name and then there's uh Shaolin fantastic Shaolin fantastic yeah that's, that's, the, that's the name of a guy yeah yeah, yeah that's <laughs> the name, one name of one of the characters in there and he's a uh, <laughs> he's dope yeah. He's a super B boy. I think I found a new uh username. Shaolin Fantastic. I know, right? Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it might the be way, taken already. <laughs> yeah, but the way they uh they tell the story and um, you know, just kinda like the the funny aspects of it too. It, it's just it's like a different type of show, right? Like there's nothing yes. really out there like how they deliver it. You know, they they it's it's told in like kinda like a um grease type feel. Right. But with like but a hip hop yeah, way. Yeah. It's like um Nas is actually doing the um the narration the narration and also the um the parts where he's like uh showing his uh present day he's like rapping at oh, like a concert okay. hall yeah and then so basically it's a, it's a uh, a fictional story about this guy on how he you know became I guess one of the best rappers 
right in this time and it, it has like real characters from hip-hop history yeah so yeah it's it's a good show man like the the characters yeah, la- and yeah. yeah last summer um netflix killed it i mean they had that during the summer they had um stranger things it was just like yeah. you were like really um you know occupied uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> they had a lot different... of good content yeah they did you know like, they're they're coming with it like i was talking to somebody today like the way Netflix did it, you know, I remember how, when there were, there were so many times before I was about to cancel my Netflix subscription because they weren't, there was like no point. Was, right. You know, they didn't have anything like, and then all of a sudden they just said, you know what, let's invest money in like, make you know, our, our own, own content and yeah. like make it dope. And then, you know, and right. then that will force people to, yeah. you know, to come to our platform and yeah. man, they were right. And the, now they're like one point <clears throat> yeah, there was, million. There was a story where the, I think the owner of Netflix like went to the owner of, or CEO of Blockbuster and offered Netflix for, you know, fifty million. Yeah. And uh, the Blockbuster guy, you know, he didn't see the vision of the it. vision yeah. of like how it was, it was gonna blow up. Yeah. And now he's just like Blockbuster's done. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. They tried to implement that too, right? I think they did the mail too late. Yeah, and it was just yeah. Too yeah. Late, so yeah, you should have um, it's, it's you hard. should have listened. You know, like <laughs> if you don't evolve, you die. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's a uh, crazy business lesson, business lesson right there yeah so um yeah that's coming out soon uh I believe in april 7th uh i think there's five episodes the the last episode is gonna be like a movie length it's like 75 minutes so yeah check it out if you guys got netflix great miles come on you know netflix <laughs> man <laughs> i, no, I, I yeah. was gonna give him a shot it. and then iron fist sucks so but you have Dude. Daredevil, uh, you have um, you have Jessica so much, Jones. You have so There's much, so much stuff other... on there. Is the, is the Voltron yeah. show good? I heard yes. the Voltron show the was Voltron good. The Voltron show yeah, is Vol- good. Vol- I didn't get to finish it because, you know, I have a busy schedule. But it's, it's, Bro, they got it's Will good. Smith in December. Oh, that that yes. Will Smith movie with yeah. the sword? Bro. Right. Like, Actually, right. the, this Death Note movie might get me to come over. Oh, yes. I Because they're making like... Cause, Did you see the trailer? Yeah, I haven't. Okay. They put it out yesterday or something Yeah, I didn't get to see it. How was it? Was it like uh, an American version? Because yeah, there was like a white dude it's, in there. It's an American version of Death Note, which okay. I'm not crazy about, but yeah. whatever. I mean, Go to the show. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we already talked about that once before, but I'll let that one go. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the Death Note anime was so awesome. Yeah. And I haven't seen any of the Japanese movies. So, I mean, I'll give this one a shot to see if it's any good, to see how they do it. Yeah, because the demon guy is in the American movie, so I want to see how they how they do him up. So. Right? Yeah, because I'm, I'm it's such an interesting concept. Trailer. Like, I just like the concept of like you write a guy's name in a book and he dies. Like, yeah, what? and the power goes to his head, and then there's a like a genius guy trying to stop him. Like, so I right. want to see how they do it. See, so. I need to watch a Death Note. I know, like, uh, my niece. It was, was so was amazing, it. man! Like the, it was two seasons. The first season was great. Right. Maybe one of the greatest animes of all time. Okay, really? so like, yeah, I'll put, I'll put my name. You, on you have a book. Is there a limit? Because like, what if you just want to like there are, kill there are, a bunch of people like, and just start writing like twenty people? There's like, like rules and stuff, but I okay. forget what they are. But yeah, like if you okay. write the name in the book, that person dies. Wow. So and, and there were rules to it, like you couldn't do certain things or something like that. But yeah, there's certain things you cannot cannot do with the book. Right. But yeah, it, it's it's pretty good. Check out at least the first season of the anime Death Note. It's amazing. Okay. Definitely, because I got Crunchyroll. I need to put that on my list right next to Naruto. For sure, man. Naruto. For sure. Yeah. I think it's like... I'm so so not up on it N- as Naruto. far as the, yeah. the anime game. <laughs> the, the last episode finally came out of Naruto. Oh, it did, huh? Yeah, this I think this week. So I'm still trying to catch so what up. what happened? And, did they go eat yogurt? Uh, they ate yogurt. <laughs> well, the thing is, like, the, the movie came out, so you know how they turn out, right? Like, he marries Hinata, so you know right. that's right. Yeah. He has a son. Don't Sasuke right. and uh, Sakura get together too? Don't they have I, a kid? I think so. So yeah, you know how it gonna, turns out. Yeah. So it's like the movie kind of spoiled the show, you know? I know. That was just like, okay. Because I what thought a, for sure one of them was going to die. I thought for sure. Yeah. Like, didn't happen that they, way. They had another fight. I want, I'm I'm getting to that episode where they you know, they got another fight. In the Sasuke and Naruto. That, yeah, it's supposed to be epic. But they don't die. So it's like, you know, like. Yeah, it's, it's still probably good I to mean, see. I mean, it'd still be amazing to see it, but yeah. Right. How much is Crunchyroll? Uh, I think five bucks. Five bucks? Yeah, five bucks a month. Okay. Yeah, that's good content. I mean, the whole family can watch it, you know? Definitely. Like, uh, oh, they have other, like, Disney stuff, too? No, it's just pretty much uh, Japanese stuff. Oh, okay. Um, they even got, like, Japanese TV shows and Korean pop. Like, really? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> what about the um the Filipino shows? 
Uh, not not they might have a different that, app that's for that. That's Lumpia Roll. <laughs> Lumpia Roll. <laughs> <laughs> that's a different app for that. <laughs> What's the Filipino uh, content app yeah. for? Uh, uh, I, don't <laughs> I don't know, but um, there's got to be an app for that. There's dude. always like it's to me it's like Filipino movies. You know, I'm not dissing our peoples, but like it's it's kind of corny. Like it's the same uh, <laughs> formula they do over and over again, and there's nobody out there that. A director that's like trying to you know that's trying to do something different stepping out the the box yeah i mean it's cool it's you know in the beginning it, i I watch it with my wife some of these movies and it starts out good but then you kind of know it's like oh okay it's same thing yeah and the editing's whack and the the flow of the movies like i don't they just need to go i don't know to film school maybe <laughs> in hollywood or something and to see you know what what they can do you know, to have better movies but Anyway, speaking of movies, man, what's what's going on with this Matrix reboot? Actually, it's that was the initial rumor as a reboot, but now it's actually going to be a prequel. Oh, a prequel! And it's going to feature Morpheus. Oh, and they want to cast Michael B. Jordan as Morpheus. Oh uh, man, I don't know. He's a good actor, man. Did you watch Fantastic Four? Nah, but I yeah. saw Creed and I saw Fruitville Station. Yeah, who can act, man? He, he was in two K. He's in two K seventeen, and he's supposed to be uh, Justice. Oh, Justice he's young. Justice, really? Yeah, dang, that's crazy. He's in right. the Black Panther movie, which isn't out yet, but right. So, I'm, when is that coming out? I'm ready for uh, that. Shoot, I don't know. Maybe Michonne's gonna be in there. Twenty eighteen, I think. Twenty eighteen, okay. Yeah, Michonne's gonna be in there. Um, yeah, it's gonna be dope. Oh, she is. Yeah, Michonne's in that. Mm-hmm. Okay, what's that place uh, they're from? Bahala. I would say Bahala. <laughs> Bahala. <laughs> Bahala, nah. <laughs> Where God, Valhalla the name? Oh, Wakanda. 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 Dang, what I just so <laughs> oh, that's Thor, bro. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> heaven, man. No, he was talking about. Sorry, he was, guys. He was talking Filipino, right? Yeah. Bahala na, <laughs> Bahala na, gang. Yeah. What did that mean, Bahala na? That mean like like whatever, whatever. Man. Yeah, like <laughs> F then, it. I yeah. don't care. Like yeah, like Yolo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, right. So th- there was a, a legend going on, right? Like an internet legend about. Um, Matrix. Did you guys read the article? I, I don't know. I think uh, KP he, shared yeah. it, but I didn't read it because I'm a terrible person. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I, I didn't read it. You didn't read it? <laughs> Are you gonna like share? <laughs> sure. I'm like we need to get, read read this, and then I didn't even Yo, read. Check it. this out. Yeah. This should be good for our show. No, actually, I did read part of it actually, but I didn't read the whole thing. But it's basically like this. I read it. Okay. <laughs> at least one of us. Yeah, at did. least one of us did. Okay, good. Oh, so what's man. it about? Bronze. It's a, <laughs> um, there's this lady. She's claiming that um, the Wachowski brothers like took her. Story. Well, they're no longer brothers. They're like women now. Yeah, brothers and what? are they both? Yeah, I think they both changed. No, I think one. No, day. no they both changed. Oh man, come on. Dang. Both I'm of not them? even joking. Like that's the thing. Like they changed. Wow. Both of them. Both of them. No, yeah. it has to be one. I think. Nah, I think I it's know. both, wow. man. <laughs> that's crazy. IG Live is it one or two? <laughs> Who's up on they it? Both got the Caitlyn. <laughs> if you're up on it, I, I don't know. Get up the <laughs> get up the line, <laughs> man. But anyways, this this lady is claiming that, um, that they took her, her story, yeah, yeah, her treatment because uh, she answered a, like a news ad. It was ran by by them, um, you know, looking for stories, yeah, uh, science fiction stories. So she submitted hers, yeah, and then hear nothing back, and then like a few years later, they made a know, movie. They made a movie. She's like in the theater. She's watching. Like, yo, this is. Man, this is my, my story. Yeah, yeah, it was called like Third Eye or something like that. Yeah. But so it's been going, you know, through the years, like supposedly, um, you know, through the lawyers and all that. Yeah. That she won. Uh huh. And they 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 paid her like billions of dollars, but there's no there's no evidence of that. Yeah. It's just there's so much speculation. Yeah. And they don't even know if this lady is real. Like it's, it keeps popping up every once in a while in the, the internet, like Reddit. That was Business Insider, right? That was the uh, was it business the insider? source because I you know they're kind of reputable. Yeah, um, it, she just so is it a hoax or what? Like, is it real? It's a legend, man. They, yeah, they don't know what what's they're saying. It's uh, she's claiming that you know they took it, but there's no proof. Yeah. Show us and, the tax records. And there was another uh, another guy that's coming forward, like saying that they they took her his idea too for really? for, for the ma- sequel. Wow. And then James Cameron is in the mix too. I didn't even know he was like part of that. Like how, how? Where is there proof? Can anybody just go up there like that was my idea? Yeah, that's the thing. You know, that's there's really no proof. It, they don't know if there's uh, there was actually like any uh, judicial yeah you know, thing going on with that. Uh, but yeah, 
you probably like. So that was it, man. That was, that was the that was, article about. I appreciate when, that. When I read it, like, okay, there was really no, you know, uh, conclusion, I guess. The con- only conclusion was uh, it's still out in the open and it's still a legend. <laughs> so, still, wow, really? So, yeah. Okay. But, yeah, next time, you yeah, know, yeah. yeah, read the article. Yeah, read the article <laughs> before you share it out. I like, know. Before, before, but, yeah. No, it was good. It was interesting. Yeah. I was like, I thought this would be a good idea for the show and I didn't even. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. That was cool. So, um, Beauty and the Beast, man, made Beasted. a lot of money. Beasted. Is that 428 million. global or is that just... I believe, glo- I okay. believe global. Well, how much did it cost to make it? Uh, I don't know. What Five days. Yeah, they made that much. So, I mean, that's that's pretty significant. Yeah. Did they catch that spring break? Biggest I movie. I think they did. Oh, okay, yeah. Biggest yeah, uh, PG movie ever? Right? Something like that. I heard I, something. I think Either it is. Biggest okay. or second biggest, something right. like that. So I don't know. Are you guys gonna go watch it? Are you gonna take the family? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna, I'm think I'm gonna go because since yeah. I heard it's good and right, yeah, it's cool. But having you know little kids is that gives you an excuse to watch some of these. <laughs> yeah, th- there's there's um, a list out there. I think from Collider that um, there's gonna be a bunch of live movies, Disney movies. Yeah, they're, they're, oh, doing, wow. they're doing Aladdin. They're doing yeah. Mulan. Oh, Aladdin would be cool. Who, who's gonna? Who do you think it would be? I know who would be Aladdin. <laughs> that that dude in um that played Rogue One in yeah in Rogue oh, One Bodhi? oh okay yeah yeah the um Bodhi the Hispanic yeah, Bodhi. Casp- the Caspian no he's no, Hispanic no the no, dude who the... played the communicator guy oh the okay. pilot yeah no, yeah the pilot yeah isn't yeah. he he's Hispanic right uh, uh, he's like uh, he's like Indian yeah yeah the Indian? like uh, something Ahmed or something mm-hmm. yeah yeah. He he was in this HBO show called uh, The Night of. Have yeah, you seen yeah. That? Oh, I heard man. it. I didn't see it though. Was it good? Yeah, it was really good. The Night of. Okay, I've seen the, the it, series, or I haven't seen the series. Yeah, it's seen. it's it's good. And then he was in the show Girls uh, on an HBO. Oh, he was. Yeah, just like Kylo. The yeah, Kylo's in there. <laughs> yeah. Um. So he's a good actor. Yeah. He. So that he has my vote if, <laughs> for Aladdin. Yeah, I suppose they're doing like a worldwide casting for. Aladdin, so right. Jasmine and Aladdin could be anybody. Wow, Leah Salonga. Leah, I think she's uh, <laughs> over the hill now. Like maybe know. back in the days, <laughs> she killed that that uh, that yeah that song. <laughs> what is the song called again? A whole new world. A whole new world. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm about to. I was about to sing, but I didn't yeah, you should. Scare have, anybody. These mics are made for singing. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> maybe one episode. Okay. On, down we'll have road. a musical episode where we, we <laughs> yeah. sing our responses. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, funny. <laughs> that'd be funny. That'll be different, man. So, do you guys have you heard of any other um, movies that they're gonna make live? I, I need to check that list out because I heard there's a lot. I, I know for sure Mulan is Mulan. Oh, okay. What about and... Lion King? Would that be too much? <laughs> I mean, how, like, <laughs> CGI. It would be like a, like a play. <laughs> we like, all CGI. For would it sure. make like a um, Toy Story a, a live action? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Oh, that would be kind of. It'd be kind of creepy, probably. Yeah, right. Like, like that one movie, um, back in the day with the the little dolls, in in the eighties. What was that? It was not it, but um, Dang, that's scary. Puppet Master. Remember that that movie? It was on ABC. No, it was like one of those old B horror movies back oh, in the day. Oh man, I need to check that out. Yeah, Puppet Master. Puppet Master. Yeah, I gotta Google that, man. But okay, so Sony Pictures, they're planning to make uh. Spider-Man franchise, they're going to branch off, and they're going to do... They're saying Venom is going to be already in the works. Without Spider-Man? Um, I don't know. But Black Cat, they're going to have a movie with Black Cat and Silver Sable. But it's going to be Sony, though, man. But it's not going to be MCU. It's not going to be MCU. It's not going to be Marvel Studios that's going to be doing this. It's going to be um, straight so, up, strictly Sony Studios. In other words, it's going to suck. Yes. <laughs> that's what I'm... Yeah. yeah. I, you know, I kind of hope that they all bomb... Just to kind of like teach them a lesson, like yo, give don't it, give it back to Marvel. Just give it to give, give Marvel, it to like you know, <laughs> like get some percentage out of because you guys ain't doing it right. Well, I mean, I, Fox they finally got Deadpool and Logan right, so yeah. maybe someone yeah, will get I it think right. They got to work on the the viol- right. ex- extra violent. Um, yeah, I mean, if, yeah. if Venom's R rated, it could be okay. <laughs> I think that would be yeah, cool. We'll, we'll see, man. Like just tearing people. But I'm up. not sure about yeah. Black Cat and Silver Sable. Though. Yeah, because be... there aren't even like known villains and people who don't. I know the books know them, but right. not outside but not, of that. Not you know? outside of that. Yeah. What was Silver or Sable's power? I don't even uh, know. <laughs> yeah. We got to ask some of these, uh, the IG. IG Live? Silver a- Sable? Any Spider-Man fans out there? Silver She's. I, I feel bad because, uh, was, was she dating? I think she was dating Peter Parker or Spider-Man. 
I know I know Black Cat and Spider Man have a thing. They had a thing. <laughs> kind of like Catwoman and Batman. Man, there's this game, uh, uh, Telltale's. There's like a Batman. It's like um, choose your own adventure. It's not like an actual video game. You like read the stories, but then every once in a while you like hit an action button to. Okay, you check. <laughs> Uh, no yeah, the story idea. is compelling. Like they got um, uh, Walking Dead. Okay, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 I've heard of that. On Xbox. Right. Yeah, on Xbox. Yeah, Wait, yeah, so you I don't you don't really play it? You just hit a button? You, yeah, I mean you kind of play it, you know, because you kind of choose like their answers, but then oh, like okay. if they're fighting, it's no skill. It'll, it'll show like, you like an arrow game. to hit a you know oh, swipe so there, up. There's no like skill involved. There's really no no little skill, more story. Right. Okay. It's all stories. Yeah. But it's inter. I guess it's an interactive story that goes along with what's going on. In the, yeah, in the show. But and they're they're saying I'm trying to play Batman and but because I heard there's it's the story is like really really good. Check it out. Power Rangers is coming out next week. No, this week. Is it? I thought it was the 31st. Now they moved it up. Oh wow. It's this week. Oh yeah, you're right. Because uh, there was somebody that was like at the like an after party for the premiere last night. Yeah, was, like, yeah they bumped it up lit. this week. I wonder why. What's they coming out power. next week? They were they thought Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell. That's probably but what that's, it is. different audiences though. Yeah, but I guess they, I guess they, they don't want, want to get a want, lead. like no competition. I guess. Yeah, I I'm not a Power Rangers fan. No, nah, me. Either. But I'm hoping you know I'm rooting for them, hoping this is like a success. Yeah, because these are it's gonna be you know it's about the teenagers, right? So there hasn't been like a teenager movie. Like I don't know, like even back in the '80s, right? Like some of these teenager movies were like corny, but. No, sometimes like looking back at it, like you know, I kind of want to watch it, like Gremlins and oh yeah, yeah, like I want to watch Club. Well, if you look at like Rotten Lost Tomatoes, Boy- did you watch Lost Boys? Lost Boys not doing too good. Oh really? Yeah. Lost Boys? <laughs> yeah, right. I thought that Lost Boys was dope, even though you look at it, watch it now, I was like, man, this shit was corny. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of movies like that though. Yeah. Like you watch them as a young kid, like oh, this is awesome, and then yeah. you watch it again, like yeah, terrible. Yeah. What, what was that? Um, Voltron was kind of like that with. For me, when I watched like the cartoon, like He Man, like, like if you watch yeah, He Man now, yeah, it's, it's so, so cheesy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cheesy. That's why man. I only got three stars on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> that one episode, I think we were talking about that. Ram Ram Man made that. Yeah, made it through a three. So okay, so they're giving. Well, I don't know, man. Sometimes the Rotten Tomatoes is. I mean, IGN off. gave it, I think, a seven, which is that's okay. It's yeah, not great. Okay, but, but I think it's going to be. It is what it is. It's Power Rangers, you know. What yeah, I mean? it's not going to be like it might too be too serious. Yeah, it might be a cult hit because it's not really like going to be towards the teenagers per uh-huh. se, but the younger kids, like the the ten and twelve year old yeah. range. Yeah, like wow, that's so cool. Yeah, you know, I think that's who they're going to try to go after. Yeah, or so. Yeah, and, and a lot of the 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 parents that kind of grew up on that are going to yeah, bring yeah, their they, kids. They want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Right. I mean, yeah. yeah, I'm rude for them because um, we got them on sale at toythick.com, the Funko Pop. So <laughs> hopefully Shit they, plug. yeah, hopefully uh, be hype. Yeah. So okay, so we got another cable. This uh, one seems pretty solid now. It seems like this is going to be the guy they go. Oh with. really? This yeah. is who they're. Yeah. Is that what they're saying? Because we talked about who's going to play cable, what on the first show or something. Right. Like that. Yep. Yeah, they're gonna. It looks like they're gonna go with Michael Shannon, who played Zod and Man of Steel. He's a really good actor. So. What other movies was he? Uh, he looks familiar. I th- I think he was on that show, uh, Boardwalk Empire. I think. Okay. I think he was on that. Yeah. He's been yeah. in like a lot of movies. He's got a very familiar face. Yeah. If they ever did a reboot of um, well, I don't know, like with James Bond, you know that guy with the braces. Oh, the teeth. Yeah. The Jaws. Teeth. Jaws. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jaws. Like he would be him. Yeah, he has that face. He looks yeah, like him. He looks like Jaws. Who? Like a, who? Uh, this guy, Michael Shannon. Would that, that would be your pick for Cable. Well, no, that's this, where they're going. That's with. what. The, in, in, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. where they're going. we're going with in uh, Deadpool two, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, man, I hope he does good. I mean, he's a good actor, so yeah, that guy right there. Yeah, man. All right, so sneaker news. We finally yes, got sir. the date for the Yeezy creams. Man, okay. Uh, these things are always subject to change, but the date they're giving right now is April 29th. That's pretty good. That gives me, you know, a little bit time to time get to some money, and, yeah. 220 bucks, whatever, yeah. whatever. And it should not be nearly as hard to get as the zebra, so that's good news. Right. Those do look creamy. Yeah. It has like an all white shoe. Wanna bite some, that shit. Someone, yeah, it looks like white chocolate. <laughs> For real. Um, it looks, looks like icing. But someone, I, I saw like on Twitter, someone posted someone already wearing it like at the airport or somebody. It looks ugly, dirty, man. Like oh, for yeah, any all tell. white shoe. As soon as you yeah. get it dirty, 
Forget looks it. ugly. But this Throw one looks away. extra ugly because actually these looks like socks. Yeah. Yeah. Look yeah. These easy look like socks. So I don't know. I don't know. If I'm getting them, I'm just flipping them. I, I don't think I'll, I'm going to be wearing them any time. You're not going to wear so a I'll white keep, plastic bag around them. Probably you, keep yeah. mine icy. Keep it icy. Yeah, just, yeah. just post it. Now, they showed pictures of uh, of the other one that's coming out in June. They call it Earth. Like the brownish, yeah. tannish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have those, you seen? No, those look nice. Yeah. I like those a lot. It changed. Like, uh, I remember KP mentioning, oh, yeah, are you going to get those Booger Green uh, Yeezys? <laughs> <laughs> it was like oh it made it sound ugly and then now on twitter they're saying um the earth easy so it's, <laughs> it's just funny like how like naming something can kind of like sway Change your it. sway your opinion <laughs> but yeah but so, they look dope I, I i rock green like that no they're are they gonna be like the oxford tans no i guess that's no like different now. So, it's yeah. a different color because like, i'm calling colorblind so this was gonna be kind of more it looks more like a, a coffee color to me Oh, okay. So these EQTs, are you going to try to get them? Did they come out today? Yeah, they came out this morning. I think they're still available, mm. but no, nah, I'm passing. You're passing? Yeah. You're not feeling them? or? I mean, I don't. I didn't care for the white. Okay, because yeah. you got the first one. I got the black ones, yeah. Yeah, the black ones. And the, better. Nothing from this EQT drop today, which was pretty massive. Really kind there was of like, a lot of, yeah, lot, was, okay. With only the one with the boost, but there was a lot of EQTs. Yeah. But nothing really caught my attention. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I still want to get those white mountains. My white mountain engineers. That's hard to say. Yeah. These. Yes. Well, the the EQT ones. Oh, those. Yeah, yeah. So what's the those difference nice between too. the EQT and like? It's it's a new technology. Well, it's not new. The um, EQT's been around a, a long time. A, yeah. yeah, they just kind of revamped it. Okay. And you see those um these particular ones. These are boosts. They have the boost holes. If you look up on those images up there, they're just like I don't know regular. I don't know what kind of sole they have. They have no sole. Tubular. It has a really cool silhouette. It's it's a nice it's a nice looking shoe. I, I mean, I have a pair of EQTs, those King Push. I, I, to me, I think they're the most comfortable shoes I got in my collection. <clears throat> I'm waiting to get some more. I just gotta wait for the right one. So, how do you have yours um um posted up at your house? Um, your we have collection? this. Um, well, I I don't have a collection anymore. It's just pretty much shoe boxes. No, it's uh maybe I have about like six pairs yeah. on rotation. Okay. And maybe there's like four outside in the garage, and then the ones that put up my main rotation, they're like in the mud room. Yeah, yeah. So you still have the boxes or no? <clears throat> no, I don't have the boxes. Ah oh, man. So um, <laughs> at your in your prime, Space. your prime collecting years, how many shoes did you have at, at, at the most at one point? One um, point? maybe like four hundred pairs. Damn, four hundred. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's kind of about where I'm at right yeah. now. <laughs> Four hundred. Wow. Yeah. For the fans it, it will gets, want to see it, that. It takes a lot of. Yeah. It takes a lot of space. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Um, yeah. A yeah. lot of space. Yeah. So, I kind of wanted to downsize. I'm always in this groove where like I'm like collecting, hoarding, and then consolidating. So hoarding, did you sell them all at one time, or like in the over a series of time? Like, over over a series of time. Um, that's like, a lot of pairs to move, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually I was offered, but I think Rift LA hit me up. You know, they saw I was putting up a bunch of my shoes um, on eBay, like individual, and then they're like, they offered to like buy it in bulk. Do the math, it's like you're not gonna. It's more. It's better if, to do it individually. Yeah, yeah. Like how you chop up cars. Yeah, how you chop up before. everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, selling man. singles. So what's, what's what is this? This um, Ultra Boost Tokyo Shanghai. Oh, so the, the, the My Adidas thing My was basically like their Nike ID. Kind of thing. Oh, okay. So they're bringing Ultra Boost basically to ID. What? And, oh shoot! But they're having. They didn't really explain it that well, but there's like three different versions: a Tokyo, a New York, and a Shanghai, and they all have multicolor in it. Okay. It's like a multicolor heel, and depending on the city, like I guess, then I'm just guessing, but like there's like black, gray, and white. Yeah. So Tokyo, New York, Shanghai will be black, gray, and white. So with the where, where is this going to be available? Is it going to be online or yeah, do you have to yeah, go to yeah. the store? Yeah. Okay. MyAdidas.com. Uh, all I've heard is available soon. That's all yeah. I've heard. I'm not sure how soon that is, yeah. but I've heard soon. I love that, um, how they flipped that name. You know, instead of like Nike ID, it's My Adidas. Like, yeah. like the old, you know, OG. Like, like you know, the, My uh, Adidas. Exactly. That's dope. But they spelled it different, you know? So. Like Mi Adidas. Yeah. Mi Adidas. Marshalls in Michigan. Yeah, there was this was on uh, Instagram this week. 
if you follow uh, this guy, uh, I think his name is Stay, Stay Puff. Puff 70, yeah, I follow him. He posts oh. uh, outlet finds all yes, the time. I, yep. And I he posted that this week or last week that a Marshalls in Michigan had the acronym Prestos, Supreme Air Max, and the Greedy 95s. My goodness. And one guy bought them all, of course. Yeah. But yeah. Dang. Just like, I guess it was like a couple months ago, Marshalls in California got the frags, the frag yes. ones. They need to come I mean, to Texas. If, if you live by a Marshalls, it can't hurt to go in and look because yeah. you never know what you're going to find. Cause, wow. How does that happen? You know, there was an article on Complex about how it does happen mm-hmm. like that. I, I didn't read it because I don't read articles, obviously. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, like, I don't. it happens. Like, sought after mm-hmm. shoes wind up in Marshalls. It's crazy. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I don't. So know yeah, again, if either. you live if you live by Marshalls, I wonder w- if they do that on there. purpose. Yeah, uh, just for you know, I'll put these out at Marshalls, and like when somebody finds That's them, it's like you know, they talk about it on social media, creates a little buzz, buzz, and, yeah. Then everybody's going to Marshalls. You know what? I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't shock me if that's what they're trying. Cause, right. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, they they had the the actual Marshall tags on them. Yeah. So unless you know they, you know, they got the hookups on the tag, you know, tag machine device. Yeah. To, to do that so yeah you could easily get one of those <laughs> on, little, on ebay right yeah for real. yeah like the little tag machine that you put you know right. retail that stuff shows on. Marshalls, oh, people though. yeah they front yeah. like that they'll take a tag machine and put on a yeezy like, i found yeezy yeah. in marshall yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah know, that's right? yeah that's wishful thinking so. but i mean frag ones run up in marshall's man that's like twelve hundred dollars yeah i know that's that's a that's a come good up. come up man yeah for like 60 bucks and that, everyone went to Marshalls that, that week, man, yeah. looking for them. It was like one store in California. Oh shoot! And like influx. Like the person at Marshalls, like all these hype beasts coming in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. looking for some the frags. We can, um, we're about to get ready to do our. We got a lot, man. Yeah, there's a lot this, this week, man. We need to like set up a time to do this, like review this. <laughs> <laughs> that is so sick. Or like you know, yeah, a re- a showcase. Oh, oh yeah, the, to put on YouTube. Deadpool, you know, yeah, Hulk. I mean, I opened everything. up that Deadpool today. It is awesome looking. Like, Man, in the box doesn't know justice whatsoever. Yeah, I shoot. I, man, I'm a NECA fan. Yeah, the Deadpool. <laughs> After the, today, I'm a hardcore NECA fan because I didn't know they can come come out like that. Man, it's super detailed. So, like, uh, I guess start All with right. the pops. All right, so I'm gonna take this guy out. Man, <laughs> I'll try to look at I it. I want that, man. Um, put a close up here, KP, real quick, down on that close up. Any Tekken fans out there? Now we were talking about this pre-show. Uh, who do you guys play with Tekken? Me. Me. Um, yeah, I play that guy. What's his name? Lay. Lay. Yeah. Lay. He lays down. The Jackie Lay. Chan guy. The Jackie Chan. I always like when he's in this cop um, outfit. Oh yeah, I'm thinking yeah. that like you know because he has a, a holster, chest holster or whatever, shoulder holster. Mine would have. I'm to thinking be. like he was gonna break it out. I thought you can sp- put a, a special move and he'll shoot. The guy all handcuffs. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I was like hoping for something like that. <laughs> that would be dope. My character yeah. uh, would probably be Nina Williams. Oh Boy, wow! Too. Yeah, she's pretty dope, man. I, I, the I blonde just, one. Yeah. I, she has that little like bomb move where she like hits you, and then but the move that I always use that I kind of spam sometimes is the uh, there's a move where she hits you low and she hits you up in the air, and then you could do all these different juggles. So that's man. like that's my that's character. how I do Eddie, man. Yeah, I just juggle you with Eddie. Yeah, can't hit me. Yeah, yeah, I don't think Eddie. Matt, cheap. Matt, oh, he, he's mad cheap. I mean, if you know how, know his moves and know how to block his stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. but you have to know, you yeah. know, because he's tricky on how he. Uh, yeah. But once you learn how, you know, where to block on what moves, then, you know, it's like any other p- character. Just got to know the your enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Oh, let's so, show this up to the... This is I guess he has Devil Jin. Devil Jin. With the it wings. doesn't come with the stand. How oh, does he stand I, Yeah, because this isn't... Uh, he doesn't stand up? This he isn't just... uh, Star Wars. So he doesn't... It's not Star just, Wars? Someone's asking about how it? Can you, or how can you pose him? Or even set him up? The He's wings. on the wings. Oh, that's oh, pretty. Oh, dope. The wings. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. That's one of the there you go. Design. That's That's pretty dope right there. Yeah. He looked like he's about to. Yeah, I got to go get up. this tomorrow, I guess. Yeah. Man, that's that's a really good pop right there. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Funko came with it. Ooh, okay. All right. The next one we have is Akuma. Akuma. Akuna Matata. Akuna. <laughs> Akuma. 
Hey, do you know if they're going to drop uh, the hot Ryu, the one with the beard? Yeah, the, the, I saw that. I know that. it's like a convention exclusive, but they're coming out like a regular one. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's probably going to be, they call it the share exclusive. You know, like if they if it's a, a comic convention, they're going to hit up with like Hot Topic or one of these other stores. Oh, okay. But then there's like the serious one, like where it's not available anywhere, just only in the conventions. So the Akuma, <clears throat> we got this at GameStop? Uh, yeah, I believe so, yeah. We're going to open that or not? Nah? We, we got a couple. Oh, actually, that's the Toys R Us one. This one? That's GameStop. G- GameStop. GameStop. Damn, I'm tripping. One of them over here. Oh, Ken is the Ken one. Ken is GameStop. Yeah. Oh, is the Toys R Us. Yeah, this Devil Jin is sick. Sakuma is sick. Man. Akuma versus Jin. Yeah. Devil Jin. Who you got? I got Devil Jin. Oh, uh, I got Akuma. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> then you're like, oh, I don't know. I got to think about this. <laughs> Akuma man. has that one movie where he goes up next to you and like the lights go out. Oh, yeah. What movie is that? I it's like that his one. ultimate move. Yeah, oh, like, yeah, why he, can't he stand up? He don't want to stand up. Head's too, too heavy. He's too top heavy. Oh no! Maybe if you put it on a. There you, there go. you go. I'm gonna lean on. Okay. So what? Cyclops. What's up? Uh, next. Let's see. You want to just do the Funko? Yeah. You don't have to open. <laughs> I'm gonna be here all night. I think if we keep opening. Gwenpool. Toys R Us exclusive. Yeah. True. We'll, we'll it, have the. Uh, they have the a normal one on where she's holding a sword. This one she has a gun. Yeah, that one, I, I like that. Gigantor, I don't know if it's like anything special or rarity, uh, but to, I, I think this pop is dope, the design. I'm going to take him out too. Watch this be like the <clears throat> grail. <laughs> right? <laughs> to me, this is uh, so underrated. Like, so you guys know, like, are there like just regular pops that are worth stuff or just the exclusives? No, there's regular ones that are worth. The ones that they vault that they didn't, like, uh, I guess create a have a big run of those are kind of more um expensive now and um as like when, when they say vault vault it's um discontinued yeah oh, okay. and that's when the valley goes up yeah because like last year pop. when uh charlie hunnam was at the uh, comic palooza i wanted to get his pop but it's like really expensive now which who's that charlie what the sons of anarchy guy oh jacks yeah yeah that's really expensive it's up now oh like a hundred bucks or something what yeah, yeah. hey is it vaulted or yeah i think so Cause I mean, I I remember seeing it like at Barnes and Noble. Like, I didn't think anything of it. Now it's like super rare. Yeah, th- those older um, Star Wars, the first I guess couple waves uh, that Funko did. Some of those are worth worth some money now, especially the the Leia one, the the Leia uh, the white one with the buns. I think it's like forty dollars now on Amazon. Yeah, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, well, because you know yeah. circumstances, I guess too. Yeah, exactly. But uh, Gigantor, yeah. yeah, he looks sick. Yeah, that's pretty. Pretty dope, man. Yeah. All right. What else we got? Kingdom Hearts Goofy. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts Goofy at GameStop. It's a GameStop exclusive. He has um, like a metal arm, like Winter Soldier or something. <laughs> <laughs> Looks yeah. like he got a cupcake. Did y'all play Kingdom Hearts? Nah, never, no. No, but I heard it. it's a fun game. Though. Yeah, that's what um like a cult. Our partner Alex was t- uh, telling me about. He was telling me all about it. My uh, fiance's uh one of her nephews was telling me about it too. He was he was showing me videos and everything. It was yeah, pretty cool, interesting. Like how they mix out the mix up the, the Disney characters with the uh, SquareSoft characters. Yeah, with the yeah. Final Fantasy characters. Yeah, that's a good combo. Yeah. All right, so we got the true exclusive Toys R Us. Ken Hadouken. Last last week we had true exclusive Ryu. Yes, this one he looks pretty dope because he's about to do his Hadouken. Or uppercut? That he, was his. He, uh, oh no, that's his stand. He's got, he's got his oh. hands ready though. Yeah, he got them hands ready. Got them hands ready. <laughs> oh, you can. Actually, that's his uh, fighting po- like like when he's just standing before the. Yeah, that's his ready to fight pose. Yeah, I could hear that song in my head. <laughs> Did that <laughs> on the boat. <laughs> like, <"Dun>, <laughs> you want to open yeah. this thing up or we? Oh yeah. All so right. I got this next. In the mail. This is the uh, Smuggler's Bounty Star Wars. How do you get that? Like you have to subscribe subscriber for, uh, with them for about two years now two years they always got you know something always got like, a bunch of cool stuff they got this um is it, this uh this month's um theme was the rebels um who is this character Rebel again Grey Mouse? that is i know he's zeb on, zeb on the rebels i don't know there's a there's always a pin that comes with it i guess they have the 40th anniversary um there's also a uh rebels also rebels uh funko t-shirt oh is that t-shirt? chopper 
Yeah. Oh man, chopper. I got the like the red one. You got a red chopper? Yeah, the clear chopper blinged out the Hikari. What do you think about the Hikari series? There has they're, that line hasn't okay. really. They're all right. I mean, yeah, some of it's cool, you know, but it hasn't really like popped off. I yeah. think like uh like um the pop line and uh what is the the, the Dorbs line now that they have? I think that one started. Is, to, is that blowing up now? The Dorbs? Yeah, Dorbs is, is starting to uh pick yeah. up. Their their quality is yeah. Their work is pretty dope. Yeah. Oh, the uh, Captain Rex, old school edition. Yeah, he's Captain like Re- old now. Captain Rex was in uh, Clone Wars. Clone Wars yeah. too, right? And now. that's him like as an old guy. Yeah. So, and, and the man. Last but not the least, hits. Darth Maul. See, like when you, Gray Miles was telling us, because uh, I uh, he's the only one that watches the Rebels uh, out of all of us. There and, was a rematch this week of Darth Maul and Obi Wan. It was. Spoiler well, alert! Spoiler alert! It was very, it was very short, <laughs> but it was pretty cool. So. It was short. Yeah, it was really short. Really, really, really short. But still, uh, but it was... still, it, it was it was the the aftermath played out really well. I'll, yeah, I'll say that. You think if they would have done it not on the Disney Channel, that um, it would have been cooler, like the uh, fight scene. Well, I haven't seen it, so I'm just saying. I don't know. I mean, like I said, I think the payoff was more the ending I than you. the fight itself. But it was still a really cool thing just to see uh, old Obi Wan fight because he never saw that in the movies. So yeah, yeah, he was just standing. He was I mean, he he did Vader. fight Vader, but not really. Yeah, you know what I mean, so it was kind of cool to see it. Yeah, it, it, but when you told me like Darth Maul and Obi Wan went at it, I was like, oh, I need to watch that. But yeah, I think I'll put that on the list too. Yeah, put on the list. <laughs> All right, what's next? All right, so we have a Walgreens exclusive, Aaron from The Walking Dead. Now, as you well know, Aaron is actually a gay character, and I think this might be the first action figure of a gay person, I think. <laughs> really? I mean, I'm not certain of Big that, hoops. but I, I think that might be the case, yeah. Oh, wow. I'm trying to think now, like, some gay action figures, but I can't think of any. I know, Me, Shipwreck me from G.I. Joe. <laughs> no, just... <laughs> Shipwreck. He looked like he could be one of the... Remember the sailor guy with the parrot? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Joe? Was it... No, he wasn't gay. Oh, okay. But it reminds me of the like YMCA. You know, oh, like yeah, yeah, with the, with the parrot. That'd be kind of cool walking around with a parrot so everywhere. So this dude. actually goes for like 35 on eBay right now? No way. Yeah, yeah. No way. Give it to me. <laughs> kidding. So, yeah. This yeah is, he looks good, though. Like the, well, not that good. The, the scan is like pretty the, good. The, the, toy the scan is pretty good. It looks just like the actor. Yeah. Yeah. The, again, this is a Walgreens exclusive, which. I think when McFarland is not really articulated, huh? I mean. It's okay. I mean, it's not hyper articulated, but it's, yeah. the smaller ones they have some. Okay, and you can see the joints. I mean, there is articulation, not a yeah. lot, but there is. Hey, um, going back to GI Joe real quick. Remember that um GI Joe movie that came out a long time ago? Um, with... yeah. Wait, the live action one? No, 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 not the live action one, but the uh cartoon, the cartoon with Serpentor. Yes, that was dope. That was dope, man. That was dope, right? That whole movie, like, how they fought that. Because people were dying. Yeah, for sure. Uh, they were getting shot. Yeah. That was um, cool, man. I, I, I want to watch that again. Yeah. One day. Yeah. Maybe, with, the, uh, maybe the Netflix will pick it like up. Like Serpentori, like, um, you know, he has those snakes on him. And yeah. He, and he, he throws them. Turns, like, turns them into the, uh, staff. Like, staff. Yeah. Have Steven. you seen that? Yeah, yeah I saw yeah, that as a kid. Yeah. Man, we had some real stuff back yeah, then. Yeah, we had some real, yeah. People Kids don't know. Like uh, the Transformers movie, like oh, people, yeah. were, people were getting one shotted. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the the old one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys seen, well, you know, like the the nickname I got, you know, Bronze, uh, you know, was from that character Bron, and he, he got blasted by um, Megatron, I think. Yeah. When the ship, I don't know if you saw that, and uh, but yeah, the, the, they're arguing like there's a wiki thing that saying that like, he's still alive. Who Bronze? Yeah. Uh, Bron, yeah. <laughs> he's he here. Alive. He didn't die. He survived in the air. You know, he was floating in space. He's doing the Toy Story like, show right yeah. now. Because he's like mad, you know. But he was like the second strongest. Yeah. Autobot. So how did, uh, you got that nickname from being like. Well, I was playing football in, um, you know, in my neighborhood back then. Yeah. And, you know, small still. And then. <laughs> but you were but strong. Yeah. yeah I, you know, I had strength and stuff. So. And like the neighborhood kids were like, man, you like bronze. Yeah, so it's <laughs> like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ray Carruth is one of my neighbors. Uh, he's the one. Yeah. Like his family. Kind of showed me how to play football. Yeah. I don't know if you remember Ray Caruth. The, Didn't the guy. he kill somebody? Yeah. Well, <laughs> he, he put a hit on his. <laughs> oh, uh, he put a hit on his uh, baby mama when he was with the Carolina Panthers. Damn. Yeah, I remember yeah. that song. Really? He's like he's known for that yeah, now. So he, no. This is your neighbor. Yeah. 
You are yeah, right. That's my homie. <laughs> yeah, that's my homie. Really? But uh, yeah, he turned wow, out to be dude. like he he, he wanted turned out. out to be a murderer, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's the the wow. family they're they're good folks, but yeah, they just got caught up and yeah, stuff. Got caught like, up. They, was, Wow, that's you never know what it, like really happened. You know what I mean? Like it could be yeah, just pretty much. Like, no, he, okay, yeah, because he, he hard to hit. Me. Never mind. Yeah, he he was he was injured. <laughs> he, he was injured. I mean, yeah, he was injured and he, he didn't you know make enough money in the NFL and yeah. he was going broke. Yeah. So when he found out he got a baby, you know that's word. That yeah, that's that's happened. what happened. Yeah, yeah, man. Wow. Yeah. So it's pretty cut and dry. Like yeah, he he did it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it was sad because they they were saying like he was about to get out of prison mm-hmm. and um the the mom of the baby mama and the kid the kid is still alive but he's like mental like you know um so how mentally far? disabled and yeah. he, they were gonna like go meet him oh wow yeah the crazy guy like, story right yeah now. but <laughs> yeah, mental dis um this disabled because of that incident really yeah man yeah it's messed up yeah that's messed crazy story Anyways, the show, show took a turn. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Like, whoa, it went morbid. It, yeah. Let's get the uh, bag on track, on track with awesome Fitz. pickups. Yeah, Jim Lee. <laughs> the Jim Lee Cyclops. Man. So I got this sick. at Walgreens uh, a couple days ago. This is actually really hard to find for right now. Uh, Man, you got it. So would you guys agree or disagree that the Walgreens toy section is pound for pound the best toy <laughs> section? Pound Man, for pound. Because it's, it's really small. It's like half an aisle. But they have a lot of good stuff. Yeah, you that's true. Eat. Yeah, I would have to say that, man. I would have to agree. I mean, they have Black Series. They have Marvel Legends. They, they have, have Wal- everything. Funko exclusives. Yeah, Funko exclusives. Walking Dead stuff. McFarlane stuff. I mean, yeah, Slinkies. Yeah, <laughs> the <laughs> multicolored Slinkies. Yeah, well, whoever's doing the uh, product, uh, product, product um, buying yeah. for yeah. Uh, Walgreens, Walgreens knows their yeah, toys. They know their, know their stuff, toys, bro. Yeah. Like, must be a young dude, younger dude. Yeah, or maybe an older dude. That, Flex but 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 there's like inside <laughs> jobs going on over there, man. They're, they're, I'm sure they're killing it. Um, some of these workers that work there. Yeah, like you know. Or all right, old man Logan. Another highly sought after figure, Whew. old man Logan. We will be unboxing this at a later date. All right, but there it is, old it man Logan. So I just want picture. this because of the because of the movie. The movie, yeah, it was so emotional. Yeah, it moved you. All oh, right, here, we, here go. we go. The bad boys. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> dang! Took Almost took a spill. That is a bad ass figure right there. I'm gonna have to put that on IG stories. Here we go. The NECA quarter scale Deadpool. I got this uh, last weekend. I just opened it up today. Uh, I got a ten dollar coupon at Toys R Us. So all you guys who don't want to do the rewards programs at stores like Toys R Us, Foot Locker, because it's too time consuming. Do the rewards programs. It pays off big at, time. At where? At Target or at Toys R Us? Toys R Us, yeah. Yeah. So this is the Deadpool retail one thirty. I got it for like ninety seven. Nice. Yeah, I'm Ooh. really impressed with the way it looks. It's pretty awesome. He's throwing up the H. Already. Town. Already. So yeah. It's a pretty cool piece. It stands wow. eighteen inches tall. Eighteen well, inches. the swords you can take them out and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. But this the backpack thing does not stay on very well, so I'm kind of leaving right. it alone for right now. Yeah, yeah. This thing is cool. <laughs> that is so, so damn like, awesome. It looks like I didn't know Nick could do it like that. Like right, like the uh, like the red on the suit. It looks like actual like cloth. It is a suit. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's fabric. Yeah. Oh exactly. man, he has his uh, knife over there by his leg. Yeah. You can take that out too. Yeah. Wow. The gun comes out. The knife comes out. It's got all kinds of hands. Oh, really? You can yeah. change out the hand. Yeah. You get different, uh, you know, weapons for it. Like- uh, it has a psi. I think it has a couple of grenades. I think, and it has some clips for the gun, which I forgot. How much does this retail? Uh, one thirty. One thirty. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it does look like it. A little bit, a little bit of change that I yeah. picked this up because yeah. it's no. so detailed. Yeah. As so you can uh, see, like eighteen inches. This is what most six. figures are like six inches. This is eighteen. You can definitely see the difference. Yeah, I need to get a picture of uh, the, the, what do you call it, the comparison right there Yeah, for the website. I think we have uh, Dr. Strange over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> With the custom head yeah. and this bad boy. And last but not least, we have this Bro. monstrous Hulk. As you can see, the <laughs> Lakuma in comparison to the Hulk. This Hulk is, I believe, 24 inches tall. Uh, I got him 
You know, they have those pop-up toy stores at the mall for the holidays. Well, uh-huh. they had one at Memorial City Mall, and it was closing, so I, just, I got this 50% off. So Wait, what? Yeah, it was a pretty good deal. Th- those kiosks were selling this? Uh, Yeah, yeah. Which kiosk was that? I'll go to Memorial City. I've never uh, seen no it, figures. It's, it's gone now, so it was for the holidays. Mother, man. <laughs> yeah, they had a bunch of stuff there, and th- I just was walking by one day. I saw the store closing. Oh, what's this? So I just happened to walk in, and I saw it. Like, yeah. how much is this? Like, was 50 off? Like, all right, cool. I'm, I'll take it. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah. You can, it, it's massive. It's both wow. wide and tall. Pretty awesome on the Jeez. shelf. I'm scared. Yeah. As you can see, I'm like scared. I said, <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. there's the size comparison. He's difference. almost as tall as me, man. I know. I want to, <laughs> yeah, I want to, like, <laughs> leave. He's, like, he's very intimidating right now. As you can man. see, there's a regular <laughs> Logan next to him, Funko Pop, and then. Hulk. You can see the size difference there. Oh, man. Yep. I've had this for a while, but since I got Deadpool, I decided to break him out so you can see him. Yeah. Yep. Man, you know, we can save um, Instagram Live now. Oh, Roar? Yeah. Huh. Oh, they do that. Yeah, they just mentioned that um, this week. I think we can just like repurpose it on maybe. Facebook or. Yeah, maybe. Well, but that's the pickups, man. Pickups for the week. This was good. Great miles. Follow him. He doesn't post too much. He needs to make. You I need, need to, to make post a, more tours on my Instagram. But yeah, if you want to see or, a lot of killer shoes, yeah, yeah, that's what you got. Hit, hit me up. You may. You might need to make another Instagram just for the toys. Yeah, Gray yeah. Miles. Gray Miles too. Yes, <laughs> Gray Miles toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd man. be cool. Gray Miles underscore toy thug. <laughs> there you go. Be cool. cool, man. Well, that's about it. We're wrapping it up. Yes, it was sir. A good week, man. So appreciate everybody that it was on the live feed. Cool, man. All right, guys. Peace. Peace. Peace.